What's up, guys? I'm here today with Austin. We're going to be doing a shoulder workout from the Build program, all right? Uh, we're going to go through our warm up, then we'll jump into some primary movements and some more accessory movements after that. First thing we're going to do is a cable external rotation. Then we're going to head over to the barbell and do some Cuban presses. And then we're going to finish off with TRX, I's, Y's, and T's, all right? So, first movement. Just locking your elbow at 90 degrees, pulling the cable outward and keeping that elbow on the same plane as you rotate out. We're gonna go 15 reps on each side. So there's a lot of different ways you can do internal and external rotation with your shoulders, cables, dumbbells. I would say cable is probably the smoothest for me. It's probably one of my more go-tos for an external rotator warm-up. Next movement is gonna be a barbell Cuban press. So, kinda come right here and demonstrate for you. So you wanna get nice and wide. That way when you pull up to 90 degrees, your elbows are at a perfect 90 degree angle. Then you're gonna externally rotate behind the head, lock out, come back down to 90, internally rotate down and control it on the way down. Don't just let it drop and then straighten out. All right, so we'll go through it again. 90, rotate, lock out, 90, rotate, lock out. We're gonna get 10 reps. This is a great movement for mobility too. Making sure your shoulders are strong from every range. And the last movement in this warm up is gonna be using a TRX or any kind of suspension trainer. We're doing I's, Y's, and T's, all right? So this is gonna activate the rear delts and a lot of scapular retraction. So you're gonna lean back, I'm gonna go straight up for an I, out to the 45 for the Y, straight out for the T. We're gonna go eight reps on each one. And if you need to make it a little more difficult, just lower your feet a little bit. Oh yeah. That's good. All right, let's flow like through these next two sets. I can't take no loss. I don't need know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I gotta have my pump product. So for our primary movement today, we're gonna do dumbbell military press. We're gonna superset that with dumbbell lateral raises and cable reverse flies. We're gonna go pretty heavy on this guy. This will be our hardest lift of the day. All right, 70s it is, let's go. I'm glad we could agree I ain't that. afraid of the big weight. I gotta catch up to your boulder size. Oh. We need to get fake weights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These are totally fake weights. So freaking light. They're only 30s. Easy money. Then we're gonna go into some dumbbell lateral raises for 12 reps. I'm gonna start with 30s. So for me, I like to lift from the side as opposed to the front of my body. I feel more tension in my medial delts, which is what I'm trying to hit on this movement. So, personal preference. Just feels like a smoother pull too. Right. I try to keep my chin up. Try not to tuck it too much. I feel like it activates too many, too much traps. <laughs> We're gonna do 
Grab a band with handles. Just wrap around anything you can find in the gym. We're gonna go reverse flies with this guy. My pen ready. Used to hold myself back, my selfish thing damn patty. Gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed heavy. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get a hit, so bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar flipped up. I'm trying to get an NFT to get them when they're hand and crypto. Learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you pay attention. Cool. Alright. So, our first overload set, we're gonna start with the bamboo bar or the earthquake bar. So this guy is gonna, it's not really about he pushing heavy weight, it's more stabilization. So this bar flexes quite a bit, and then with the kettlebells hanging on the monster bands, it's gonna add extra instability to the movement. So you don't need a lot of weight. These are just 26 pound kettlebells. Bar weighs less than five pounds. So 10 reps, you'll see that stabilization. And we don't want to use any leg momentum. This is a strict press only. So just straight overhead, back down. Pacing and breathing. Yep. If overhead presses or heavy shoulder presses are a weak point for you, this is gonna be your bread and butter movement right here. All right, we're gonna superset this one with the Legend Fitness lateral raise machine. So this guy, out of any machine we have here at Empire, is probably my favorite machine. Just a smooth contraction on the medial delts, and you can get real heavy with it. And then you don't have the instability like you would from dumbbells or bands. You kind of want to match this machine joint with your actual shoulder joint too. So sometimes you're going to put a plate underneath, especially for girls that are shorter or just anybody shorter in general. Just make sure you're lined up your delt to this axis point. So I'm not going to use as much trap. More delt focused. All right, so the last one in this circuit is just going to be a cable reverse fly. Uh, you'll notice on some of these giant sets that we're doing, we're combining front delt, medial delt, and rear delt. I like to keep an even shoulder cap, even strength throughout. Some people come in here and they're just smashing a lot of front delt and then kind of forgetting the rest of the shoulder. But this will give you a more even rounded shoulder cap or boulder shoulders as we call it. So you'll notice Austin has a slight, slight bend in his elbows. That's just gonna create more tension on the rear delt itself instead of his traps and mid back area. Oh, feels good. All right, so I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit, add a little more weight onto this guy. So just take one loop off. Oh, wow. So go ahead and put it back on. There you go. So you just take the one strap off. Make sure you do it with someone on the other side too, because if you take weight off one side of this bamboo bar, it's gonna fly because it weighs nothing. There you go. You can tag an extra plate on. You can put a heavier kettlebell on. You can do multiple kettlebells if you want. Whatever is easiest. All Everybody getting crushed to cut down this for us now. Have to work something because I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Last circuit, we're going to do a banded dumbbell press. We're so going to do a dumbbell lateral raise with an extended 
range of motion, and then we're gonna do a seated dumbbell reverse fly. Austin's gonna okay. lead us on this first one. So with this band, you're just putting it around the midsole of your foot, and then I like to grab, put my thumb underneath the band, and then rest the weight right on top, and then you can grip from there. So letting this band come behind your elbow, and then also in front in one aspect also. And then we're trying to start from here and get a full lockout at the top. You're gonna feel as you, as you extend, that tension's gonna get stronger and it's gonna get harder and harder to drive as you work through. So with this band, you kinda of wanna think of it like when you're driving a car and you're trying to press the gas and the brake at the same time. So think of that with the band. Your pedal is your arm and the brake is the band. So you're fighting resistance as you drive and it kind of meets in the middle. That's why bands and chains can be so effective as an add-on. Banded dumbbell press is like driving a car. It makes so much sense. <laughs> did that breakdown make sense? Preach, yes it did. <laughs> okay. it made total sense. Oh good. All right, so with this dumbbell lateral raise, I'm gonna grab onto a secure handle where you can lean, get that extra range of motion. You'll probably use a little bit more trap on this, but Okay. Just try to go slow on the way down and control the weight. Power it up. What, the primal talk? Yeah, that was very sub primal. <laughs> Last exercise in this circuit, you're gonna be sitting on the edge of the bench. Bring your feet out so you can Bring the dumbbells underneath. You're gonna go palms inward, and you're gonna do a reverse fly straight out. So for the last circuit, well not really a circuit, just last exercise, we're going to do a, a little burnout contest on a push press right here, alright? So I'll start, Austin will follow. We're doing push press, so basically when we're holding the barbell, instead of a strict press where we're locking the legs out, we're actually going to do a little bit of like a quarter squat. We're going to use that leg momentum to help project the bar above our head. So no doing more than 15 reps. Once you hit 15, rack it, next person goes, and your only rest time is while the other person is going, all right? We're gonna go. What do you wanna do? So when he's doing this movement, we're pressing all the way to lockout and controlling the bar back down, and we're resetting at the bottom. You're not gonna make it like a consistent rhythm up and down. You're gonna reset after every rep, re-engage that muscle contraction. Oh yeah, Woo. here oh. we go. I'm feeling that failure coming right around the corner. Torched. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Here we go. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, <coughs> ten. Oh, baby. Eleven. Come on. That's all I got. That's it, baby. That's it. All right. Eleven more for me. Here we go. <sighs> <laughs> okay, that wraps up today's shoulder workout. <sighs> Minor blast. I can fly. like barely lift my arms up. So that was a good workout. That was great. Um, again, this is the build program. If you're looking to pack on size, strength, mass. Click on the link below. Check or out this program. Lifters. Exactly. It's challenging. <laughs>